everybody, so today I got my copy of the 40th anniversary edition of The Man Who Fell to Earth. Uh, very excited to get this. I've always wanted to own this film, but there just never has been a edition that felt worthy getting this one definitely um, is worth getting I mean it's, this was I think 1999 it's a four disc set two of those are DVDs though you're getting the film a new 4k restoration I believe uh, you're getting a booklet, a whole load of art cards, the poster, uh, you're getting the CD as well, all in this massive, uh, beautiful uh, box case. So, of course, this is Barry's film, a Barry film, not Barry's film, although he, he is great in it. Uh, directed by Nicholas Rogue. Uh, just read out what it's got in it. Disc 1 is a Blu-ray feature and bonus material. Disc 2 and 3 DVD uh, feature and bonus material. Disc 4 exclusive John Phillips CD. Uh, bonus materials include David Barry interview from French TV 1977. New interview with costume designer May Ruth featuring original costume sketches. New interview with stills photographer David James featuring behind the scenes stills. New interview with Sam Taylor Johnson. New interview with producer Michael, Michael Dealey. Uh, something else that's new is the Lost Soundtracks featurette featuring interviews with Paul Buckmaster and of uh, Chris Campion. Uh, interview with Gandy Clark, interview with writer Paul Maysberg, Maysberg, sorry, Maysberg. Interview with cinematographer Tony Richman. Interview with director Nicholas Rogue. And watching the Alien featurette and trailer. So this is uh, region B, region 2 locked. Uh, unfortunately, because it is Studio and the Canal and most of those are region locked it runs uh, approximately the blu-ray 139 minutes the dvd 134 minutes and uh, only subtitles are hard of hearing english so let's get this open uh, i want to be careful with this one hey. There is a regular edition as well. I think that's just twelve ninety nine. It doesn't include all of this. The cover is extraordinary. It's sort of foil etched. Uh, as extraordinary as it is, I still think I would have liked the original. Uh, artwork but I think that's um, already been used on an existing release so I can understand why they did not go for that this though it just looks fantastic if you can hope the uh, camera is picking that up properly without the riff without the light It really does look fantastic. Okay. So that's the box. First of all, let's have a look at the book. 
at a man who fell to earth. I did see this in the cinema, I think, earlier um, last year. And it was just fantastic. Rip Torn's also in it, a young Rip Torn. I'll just go quickly through it. Nice image there. So I definitely know that uh, Uber fans, Andrea, I'm talking to you, will definitely get this. There is also a, uh, just as I say that, there is uh, another Man Who Fell to Earth soundtrack that you can buy separately that uh, has 25 tracks. I think this one only has 12 tracks. But it's still good that they included it. I don't think any tracks are by Barry though. There's the image used on the front of the box set. And that's uh, the image used on the soundtrack. Now we get 14 tracks, there is of course the uh, bonus track to, uh, to get us to buy this. Okay, let's open this up. That's uh, what I would have liked to have seen on the cover art. So... Let's have a look at these first. This is the poster. I really don't like unfolding these because I never get them right. Folding them back one side. Oops, not as big as I thought it would be. And he looks deformed now. Getting it totally flat. There's the mini poster. Here's the book clip. Rip Torn looks so young there. Pretty 
press blocks. Odd bins. And then we have the art cards. Nothing on the back. That's a nice one. So now on to the main digi pack. I've got a loose disc. Great. Let's check it isn't broken. Might as well. Take all the discs out now. And the other side. So the discs, there's the uh, soundtrack, bonus CD. Uh, the DVD, hopefully all the contents of the two C DVDs are on the one Blu-ray. and uh, second DVD so yes in my opinion this is a must buy even if you are just a avid film fan it's a great film and if you are a music fan uh, definitely a must buy can't wait to watch this I hope you enjoyed this uh, video, this unboxing. Now I've got to try and put it all back together again. All the extras, I forgot about those. But yeah, great film. I still think Barry's best role is as Nikolai Tesla in uh, The Prestige. But I've got to watch this again. Take care for now. Peace to all. Bye.